I was here over the weekend installing the units in our GRI booth, and over the night, our drill bits disappeared. And so I'm in a frantic pace. I needed some drill bits. So I come down to their booth. There was nobody here, but they had them hanging here on the wall. So I borrowed a set, and I came back to pay him Monday morning, and he, he was gracious enough to say, hey, man. That money no good here. That money's no good. That's right. And I said, this is the kind of company we need to be talking about with our partners. For the install, our hole saws are perfect for putting that air handler in the perfect place. Yes. So you can put it exactly where you want it. Yes. One of the focuses for Rector Seal is in the ductless product category. And so we've got everything from line set covers to pumps to switches to mounting, anything your customers would need, we've got something for them. So what we have launched is our VRM kit. This is a voltage monitoring device. The contractor programs the voltage that that equipment wants to see. And then he pre-programs how long he wants it to be off. So when it sees low voltage, it shuts the unit down, waits, if voltage is restored, then the unit comes back on. It's automatic reset. We're waiting on Chris right now. He's gonna show us some cool products over here at Field Peace. Chris. Yes. So anytime that you're trying to diagnose an issue, our job link tool is perfect for that. So you can hook up and look at your airflow issues, your temperature and your pressures, all with the job link system. It is all wireless connects together and reads into our free app version. You can actually have someone back at the office that can do what's called a live look-in and they can see the exact readings as you're seeing those readings. If it's a very complicated issue and you need multiple people looking at it, they don't all have to be at that job site. We make a full line of service tools, welding and brazing equipment, vacuum pumps, etc. For brazing, we have a nitro view. There's a little ball in there and it will float. So it shows you you have flow. It displaces the oxygen out of the, the lines so that you don't have the oxidation in there. If you ever braze a fitting, you see what's on the outside. That's also on the inside. So it's not just GREE that is recommending flowing nitrogen. It's also Uniweld is recommending flowing nitrogen. Every manufacturer recommends that. So this will be our hydraulic swedger. You won't have to use a coupling or a 90. You can actually bend the tubing and then put this in expand it now you only have one braze instead of two if you're using a coupling like this a lot less work less solder we don't have to dig through the bag for that fitting we thought we had you make your own right there so can we upload uh, software to this to have it install air conditioners for us so not quite for the installation quite yet we can send this out to a job site to inspect the installation to make sure that it's installed correctly. That's what our 3D laser scanner is right here. So this can be operated remotely from anywhere in the world. Does it bark? <laughs> it is a pretty quiet dog. You can make it sit. So it, it does, does follow commands pretty well. The foam can be aligned against sheet metal or against like a filter just to get that nice airtight seal. Um, either for also for weatherproofing applications as well too from it. We sell a slim duct system that if it's in an unconditioned space, it needs some insulation on it. We offer a variety of different materials from open cell foams like a polyurethane. We also do some neoprene, some closed cells, some EPDM, variety of different thicknesses. Naturally gonna get some good insulation properties to those. It would definitely help with any different sounds, different rattlings. This is one of our products, it's a roller pipe support. The reason there's a roller there is because rooftop temperatures vary widely. It can be 140 degrees on the roof temperature, during the day and at night it can be down to 40 degrees. So the pipe expands and contracts and so it moves quite a bit. So if you don't have the pipe on some kind of roller like this, you can damage the pipe or you can damage the roof membrane. Well what this crane can do is it can lift 1200 pounds and it only weighs 75 with the heaviest component being 30 pounds. This is made out of carbon fiber. This crane will lift 1200 pounds as well but it only weighs 30. So no more tying the uh, rope across the roof and trying to lug it up the other yeah, side. Right, if you're going up 80, 90 feet, you want to be able to, you know, use this to raise and lower the load. So no more cranking. Blue Diamond pumps are fundamentally different. We utilize a rotary technology. Uh, the rotary allows the pumps to offer one of the most quiet operating pumps on the market. Um, additionally, none of the products require screens or filters. Can really suit any application from a ductless standpoint, including our newest model, the Slim Fascia Kit, which will come pre-packed with a pump and a concealment kit to be mounted underneath your air conditioners. I'm Lee from Vito Pro Pack, and I design and develop all the products here at Vito Pro Pack. So an injection molded plastic base, center located handle, rugged construction, all of our bags have a five year warranty. And on the inside of our bags, 
They all have vertical tool storage. It's one of our wheelers. We have four different wheel bags. Got a lot of height, right? So for those longer 18 inch wrenches, there's plenty of room inside the bag. We've got protected pockets down at the bottom for sensitive equipment. Depending on what kind of jobs you're doing, you might need different sets of tools. And this bag is customizable. So these pockets can be removed. We also sell different configurations of what we call our V-swap panels. Stable, waterproof, water resistant, good for snow, mud, rain. It's gonna keep your tools dry and keep the bag upright. This bag can transform into a backpack. So it comes with backpack straps. Excellent place to store my tools and also be able to uh, put it on, on my backpack and, and go up on the roof. What's important with evacuation is vacuum pump oil. And with that, it's keeping a low vapor pressure, which our vapor pressure on this oil is less than one micron. And that just, you know, is how deep of vacuum can you maintain a seal? Keeping that vapor pressure low, you're gonna to wanna to keep contaminants and moisture out of the oil. You can see right here is where our cartridge ends up. So you get nasty oil from, you know, contaminants, moisture, trap it in that cartridge, pop that one right out. And then you got a new fresh one, keeps that one in. And that just makes that uh, clean oil maintain that low vapor pressure so we can keep the seal. When you have a T-fitting, both ends are coming in in direct opposition of each other. So when that flow comes in, it creates turbulence inside of the fitting and you're trying to pull through that turbulence, which actually slows down the flow. So you have a Y fitting like this, the flow is coming in and the flow paths just merged perfectly because they aren't coming into opposition of each other. They're already going in the same way and they merge together and it just, it just dumps flow much, much better than a manifold or a T-fitting. Another kind of small thing that not many people think about is all of our hoses here come with these aluminum hose hangers. And what that does is it's able to keep your hoses organized and also when they're in the back of the van swinging around, you don't want to have the brass fitting bang up against something. They come with blunt ends, so it's not going to trap that trace amount of refrigerant in the hose. And also if you over tighten it, uh, you're not going to damage that hose gasket.